Try, 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 try again. Just like I told those kids this morning. Try, 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 because what's the worst that can happen? You're not gonna like what you tried? Okay. And just like I told them, I'd rather regret the things I did than the things I never tried. I remember when I graduated, I had just taken the LSAT to go to law school and completely bombed it. At that point, then I had no idea what I was gonna do. So I said, you know what? Maybe that's life's way of telling me that I shouldn't be a lawyer, obviously. And I should just stick to what I thought I wanted to do, which was be an actor and take whatever money I've got saved up and move to New York City because I'd rather regret the things I did than the things I never tried. And I don't wanna hate myself down the line for not having at least tried that. Like this isn't for everybody, the advice, but I think you do have to be as well-rounded as possible because you don't know what direction life is gonna take you on. And that's, that's me, there's no, there's no career path that I took. Like there's no one that told me, hey, to be successful by the time you turn 30, you need to graduate college, move to New York with no money, try to be an actor, go on a soap opera, be killed off the soap opera, not have money, become a hand model, then think about going home, but get your real estate license and rent apartments in Koreatown and Long Island City and slowly work your way up and then get on a reality, t like t you know what I mean? Like there was, I said yes to as many things as possible and tried to be as well-rounded as I could even after I graduated. And when I got my real estate license, it was the last thing I ever wanted to do. Imagine you want to be an architect, that's over here. Imagine the last thing that you'd ever want to be being over here. That for me was being a real estate broker. I'm a real estate broker now because I made that happen because I needed to. And I've made it work for me the way I want it to work. I'm not a real estate broker the way other people are real estate brokers at all. I'm a real estate broker the way I want to be a real estate broker, the way that makes me happy. And you can do the same thing for whatever it is that you want to do. I, you know, being in New York City with no money, I was like, you know, it cost a couple hundred dollars to get my real estate license, and then I was employed. And now I am a salesperson for the rest of my life. and my future is dictated by what I put into it. And that's an amazing thing. It's scary for a lot of people who have a hard time self-motivating and um, err on the side of negativity, right? And that becomes a disease for people. But if you can wake up positive and you know how to sell, you will be okay for the rest of your life. Question really quick, and it'll be my last question. So she asked me if I've ever tried something that I thought I was gonna do okay in and then I didn't. And the answer is yes, all the time. But guess what? That's okay. That's okay. Because the day goes on and life is awesome. And as long as you're happy and positive, tomorrow is another day. A new day, yes. Thank you so much, everybody.